So much stuff happened this weekend. Uh, where do I start? I'll tell you exactly where we start. With Lemonade. Boy, does Beyonce know how to drop an album. It's a big reveal. Lemonade, Beyonce's surprise new album. Beyonce stopping the world once again, dropping a visual album. A shroud of secrecy followed by an HBO special. The bombshell's masterpiece. Setting the internet on fire. Yeah, setting the internet on fire. Thanks for setting the internet on fire, Beyonce. That's how we get our porn, you know. <laughs> Gotta go back to magazines now. <laughs> Do you know how big this was? Like, this was, this was huge. Anything that wasn't lemonade this weekend didn't mean <laughs> I mean, <laughs> President Obama said he was quintupling the number of special forces he's sending to Syria. Nothing. North Korea launched a missile for the first time from a submarine, making it even harder to defend against. Nothing. And one of the Koch brothers said that Hillary Clinton might make a better president than any of the current Republican options. That is so insane. <laughs> that is all insane. And obviously, obviously, Hillary Clinton, she was, she was like, I don't need the Koch support. I don't need them. But you know, she was like on the side, like, uh, hit me up on Snapchat. Hit me up. <laughs> hit me up on Snapchat. <laughs> but people, people paid hardly any attention to all of that because Beyonce is the news. And the best part of Beyonce is realizing that despite 15 years of talking about her, news anchors remain unready for her jelly. Beyonce showing her enormous influence on popular culture. <laughs> showing her enormous influence on popular culture? <laughs> focus, Gail, focus. <laughs> You're on live TV. You know, I, I don't blame Gail, though, uh, because this visual album was a feast for the senses. You know, it's, it uses a story of infidelity to touch on everything from female empowerment to social justice, embracing blackness, and the importance of fire safety. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you, you see here, Beyonce is showing us the importance of staying calm during a fire evacuation, <laughs> dress well, and walk towards an exit. <laughs> now, uh... This... This is an example of an artist at her peak, you know, at the peak of her powers, taking on so many issues, musically, visually, socially, everything is happening, but apparently all anyone can talk about is this. Infidelity, adultery, cheating, trouble for Queen B and Jay-Z. Lies and distrust, marital strife. She adds fuel to the rumors her husband Jay-Z cheated on her. Scandal! <laughs> There's just so much to take in right now. Who would have ever suspected that Jay-Z could possibly cheat on Beyonce? There were no clues. <laughs> it's not like he ever made a song that said, girls, 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 girls I do adore. <laughs> no clues at all. And Beyonce, why do you keep doing this to us? You know you're causing chaos. We can't handle this, Queen Bee. <laughs> Every time you drop something, the world stops. We have to analyze it. Every single time Beyonce drops something, Beyonce just dropped her keys. What does it mean? What does it mean? <laughs> So now in this album, Beyonce maybe said that Jay-Z maybe had an affair with someone. And so now Beyonce's fans have declared a fatwa on some alleged side chick, basically. <laughs> and that possible side chick is uh, designer Rachel Roy. That's what the internet thinks. And no, that's not my accent. I said Rachel Roy, not Rachel Ray. <laughs> the difference, Rachel Roy, and you're not the only ones who are confused by this. Misdirected fans seem to be going after the wrong Rachel. Uh. Angry fans posted lemons and insults all over celebrity chef Rachel Ray's Instagram account. One fan telling her, go caramelize some onions. Wow. What? <laughs> the internet is so weird. <laughs> you realize there's foodie insults now? Yeah, go caramelize some onions. <laughs> Why don't you go and saute some mushrooms? <laughs> and while you add it, add some paprika to the chicken. <laughs> like, who's insulting you, Martha Stewart? What's going on here? <laughs> this entire event left everyone asking so many questions. Did Jay-Z cheat? Who is Rachel Roy? Are you sure it's not Rachel Ray? <laughs> the only question people weren't asking after that video is, why does society always punish the woman in an affair much more than the man? Yeah, people are going after this mystery woman like she tricked Jay-Z into her vagina. <laughs> like, like she just laid a trail of Yankee hats leading up to her bedroom for Jay-Z to follow. <laughs> I just don't get it. Beyonce dropped her new song, Formation. And in typical Beyonce fashion, there was an epic video to go along with it. Everybody in the Bayhive went to Knowles Con 1, which is reserved only for the most intense Beyonce drops. JK, we're always in Knowles Con 1. <laughs> and it was awesome because there was so much in this video about black female empowerment. 
But it's not just about self-love. I mean, she calls out police brutality and the constant fear that black people have of the police. She even threw back to Hurricane Katrina. The black girl magic in that video was out of control. She was like a beautiful black Dumbledore, but wearing a really nice weave <laughs> and $3,000 worth of Gucci. <laughs> and that was just the tailgate before the big game. It really was an amazing show, but not everyone was ready for that jelly. In the end, we find out that Beyonce dressed up in a tribute to the Black Panthers, went to a, a Malcolm X formation, and the song, the lyrics, which I couldn't make out a, a syllable, were basically telling cops to stop shooting blacks. I thought it was really outrageous that, uh, that she used it as a platform to attack police officers. Is there anything in America which can exclude race? I mean, why is race brought into the halftime show at a Super Bowl game? Why? Race was brought in because Beyonce was brought in. And brace yourself, you might want to sit down for this, but Beyonce is black. <laughs> and as a black person, you walk around every day constantly reminded that you are black. We're more likely to get paid less, we're more likely to get sent to prison, and we're more likely to win a dance competition. <laughs> but it's not all bad. The point is, Beyonce is black, and this song is her message. That's what artists do. Their message is in their music. Like how Chris Martin wore his Global Citizen armband to promote his message of ending worldwide poverty. Or how Bruno Mars delivered his message about how Uptown was gonna funk me up. <laughs> That's a threat. I live Uptown. I barely slept after that performance. <laughs> how dare he say something like that? And why are people surprised that Beyonce would send a message during the show? She's done this since the beginning of her career. Have we forgotten when she addressed the importance of mental health and crazy in love? Uh-oh, 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 oh, oh, no, no, indeed. <laughs> but look, I get it. Beyonce wasn't just doing any television performance. I mean, this was the Super Bowl. And that's what got some people pissed. You're talking to middle America when you, when you, when, when you, got a sweet, when you have the Super Bowl, so if you can have entertainment, Let's have, you know, decent, wholesome entertainment. Okay, so first of all, are you saying that you can't talk about race issues to middle America? What are they, so delicate and unaware and maybe so white that Beyonce is too much for them? You know what's right in the middle of America? Ferguson, Missouri. And furthermore, furthermore, I am so sorry that this wasn't wholesome enough for you. I didn't realize that singing about race was equivalent to Janet Jackson getting her titty pulled out at the Super Bowl. <laughs> but you're right. You know what? The fans deserve wholesome entertainment, like watching 300-pound men give each other concussions while a crowd cheers like we're extras in the movie Gladiator. <laughs> so what is wrong with Beyonce, everyone? Were you not entertained? By now, you've probably heard the major announcement, the one that's gonna change America's future. It's twins! Yeah! It's twins! That's right. Beyonce and Jay-Z announced on Instagram that their family will, quote, will be growing by two. Yeah. She's so perfect. She is just so perfect as a gift to us all. She, she even did it on the first day of Black History Month. <laughs> She's like, and here's the black future. And just look at that photo. Look how beautiful Beyonce is. And look how elegant she is. And as always, she's socially conscious, wearing a mosquito net to raise awareness <laughs> for Zika. That's woke. That's woke. It's a pretty intense photo, though, you know? I mean, if that's your pregnancy, what are you gonna post when your water breaks? <laughs> that makes sense. It does make sense. Now, look. Obviously, Beyonce is gonna be great at carrying those two babies. I mean, she got so much practice carrying Kelly and Michelle. <laughs> I don't even know who said that joke. That was horrible. <laughs> but you know who I uh, do feel a little bad for? Jay-Z. Because the stress starts right away when he has to come up with two names cooler than Blue Ivy. <laughs> it's almost impossible. He's gonna be at the Sherwin-Williams, like, give me all your swatches, all of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, people, you do see where this is going, right? What's happening right now in America. The empire has taken over. 
the dark side is rising, <laughs> and suddenly our queen is carrying twins. <laughs> Luke and Leia! <laughs> and now we've all got a new hope. Star Wars, people! <laughs> How are you not getting the Star Wars? We've got to hide Beyonce. Get Sasha Fierce to the moon! <laughs> that you wish that Beyonce would cover Jolene. There are over 400 renditions of Jolene, multiple different languages, people have done it. And you said you specifically want Beyonce to do that. Are there any updates? Is there, like, do you know of this happening, you know, and, and why Beyonce? No, Maybe that's, that's even more I, important. I don't know if she's even got the message, but wouldn't that be killer? <laughs> I think she's fantastic and beautiful and I love her music. I would just love to hear Jolene done in just a big way, kind of like how Whitney did my I Will Always Love You, just someone right, that right, can right. take my little songs and make them like powerhouses. So that would be a marvelous day in my life if, if she ever does do Jolene. The new Beyonce album officially drops tonight at midnight, people! <laughs> Yeah, but somehow the entire thing leaked online yesterday, 36 hours early. And you know what happens when someone betrays Beyonce like this. <laughs> she puts out a fire album about it. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. No, but for real, though, leaking Beyonce's album early is an outrage. It is unforgivable. And if any of you in this room have it on your phone right now, you better go ahead and airdrop that to me. I want to hear what <laughs> phone is going on. When Beyonce trends, everything stops, okay? No one trends harder than Beyonce. <laughs> In fact, if you're a celebrity planning to die, wait until tomorrow, because no one's gonna care today. No one's gonna care. And the reason Beyonce is trending is because her album leaked. <laughs> All right, I bet it leaked, yeah, it leaked. Oh, what an accidental leak. A little leak of the album there. This is for publicity, all right? We all know the game, and guess what? It worked, okay? So, Trevor, man, why don't we do that? You know, we should be leaking the show. <laughs> we gotta be leaking. Here we are, like idiots, just releasing it Monday through Thursday, like a, like a, like a bunch of boomers, all right? We should be leaking the shit. Leak the show, come on, leak it! Yeah! Get the kids talking! Then, hey, maybe, maybe we go platinum, right? Well, Ronnie, we can't go platinum. We're a TV show. <laughs> exactly, because we don't leak, okay? Let's leak, <laughs> leak. Just try leaking once, okay? And, and by the way, everyone, everyone who's mad that it leaked, guys, this is a victimless crime, okay? They probably made like a billion dollars anyway on this leak because it's not about buying albums. No one buys albums anymore, okay? Even JetBlue would rather buy Spirit Airlines than buy an album, <laughs> right? Beyonce leaked this album on purpose for the hype, which is a great move, but no one would admit it because you can't say anything bad about Beyonce in this country, right? Because we live in this like fascism. Like, no, yo, I, I love Lemonade, all right? Single, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. I love, <laughs> love all that stuff, okay? But she's human, all right? You can criticize God in this country, but you can't criticize Beyonce. Ronnie, I'm, Ronnie, I'm gonna stop you there, all right? This, this is blasphemy, all right? I do not think Beyonce leaked the album on purpose. Don't you say that on my show. Oh, 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 so you don't think she leaked on purpose? So therefore, what, this is what, Beyonce made a mistake? She made a mistake? So what, you're saying Beyonce's incompetent? No, 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 no. Is no, that no, what you're hey, saying? Hey, hey. Hey. No, no, is that no. what you're saying? I would never say that. I would never say yeah, that. Yeah, see, I, I would see? never say that. Even, even you, you're, you're part of the problem right now. No, you're just, this, this thing, right? I'm, I'm you, not scared. Right, you, you can't even say something bad about Beyonce. No. I got through all your tweets, okay? And this is the what? meanest thing you've ever said about Beyonce. What? Where does Beyonce come from? It's almost like she came, comes to visit us from heaven. <laughs> this is you right here, yeah, I mean, all right? That's, yeah, that's... yeah. This is super edgy. Speak uh, truth to power, Trevor Noah what, here, what kissing some butt. You're like that lady, you're that North Korean news lady. Oh, our glorious leader has released a new song. Oh. That's not fair, man. That's not fair. Ronnie, that is not true. Oh, yeah? Okay? It's not true? Then say something bad about Beyonce right now. Say what? something bad about Beyonce right now. Do it. I do can, it. Yo, Prove I can, it. I can, Prove I can, yourself. I, I can do it. I can, do it. See, you can't even find the words. You can't even find the words, all right? And guess what? You don't have to do it. I knew you couldn't do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, put that camera on me. 
Camera one, let's go. I'll do it. Right now, hey, I, I'm gonna, Beyonce, Beyonce, you're too beautiful for your own good. <laughs> Feel that? That's how it's done.